Hi, it's Patrick from Hike Ventures. Uh, we are now on a four day trip uh, in the Archipelago National Park and I'm here with Kai. Kai, what did you like most on our trip? Uh, I think this island is the biggest jewel in Finland, Archipelago. This is really nice. You can uh, spend the all day here, all, all, all weekend. There is, uh, it's an old military island and maybe two years it's uh, out of for public now. What do you think? Yeah, we have been last year here already. We went, we went, we went, hi, we were <laughs> sailing with our pack raft here. Yeah. And took the ferry back. It was really nice. But today it's a bit cloudy, but it's a bit different than last year. But it's really nice here. Yeah. I can really recommend this Öre Island. So if you come to Finland, you should definitely visit it. Yeah. Yeah. And this is new route. Maybe somebody have heard about Archipelago route or what's the name? It's like a Saaristo Rengas right in Finnish, it's an archipelago route around the archipelago, but this actually goes another way and you have a new, whole new places and there is everything you can see. In first you are bicycling, then you see island, uh, then you are bicycling, then you have a boat trip. It's really long, like a three hours. And it's actually less bicycling than the old one which I did last year because uh, you use the ferry much more often. So it's around 40 kilometers per day where you use your bicycle, so it's much more relaxed and you can enjoy the scenery maybe more in a more relaxed way.
Ah, it's so cold. Ah, cold like hell.
decided only for the mix with the mix. I don't know. No joo, ison kalan. Ison kalan. Älä puto alas, oot niin reunalla. Okay, we are now in the Asper Island, way to the Öre. Here is old church and a few people living here. We are now in the outer archipelago.
in the camping area. It's behind this house. There's few tents now already, and I think there is a toilet and some place where you can eat, some table and table with the roof also. Yeah, it's looking nice place. This is the plant. You can eat it. It's like a sea lettuce, sea salad. Like you cannot collect it from here because it's national park. Cannon. With cannon you can.
we arrived to the Kasnes Harbor and there was a bus to Turku and Patrick took the bus. He has to go to the work and home already. But I have this day and tomorrow also. So time left in my adventure. It's uh, raining a little bit here. It's a nice weather. Really it is. Okay. And uh, tomorrow it should be uh, sunny or semi sunny. So it's okay. And I have a hotel again so I can get to the warm place and dry my stuff. Uh, this road isn't so nice. I have to drive this a little bit. Uh, it's uh, quite narrow and some cars going there. So, but it's. Uh, I think I have some smaller road after uh, 10 kilometers or something like that. So I just have to deal with it. Good morning. Sorry about the cars, they are going here all the time. So I was uh, sleeping in the hotel yesterday and uh, I had uh, like 20 km distance from the car's nest to drive here. It was a little bit raining, but it was okay. My uh, trousers are dry already. It's this Fjell Reven and it's really fast drying. Thing. I don't know what, what kind of trousers these are, not sponsored. So this is Dalintedas, Dalsbrook. You maybe sometimes are confused with the maps and uh, we have uh, always, almost always two different names for the cities and the villages. It's a Finnish name and a Swedish name. And uh, they speak Swedish here. So the Swedish names is usually first and they maybe use only the Swedish name. And uh, we have two languages here in Finland, so that's that's the way here. You can see here the harbor and uh, behind um, there is a factory. It's from the 1668, I think. And my hotel back there was from uh, 1850. So this place have a lot of history. And uh, I would like to have more time to visit the factory places there, but uh, today I don't have it. I have today 45 kilometers to next place and about 6 kilometers to the final place. So it's about 50 kilometers. I'm going to stop today bicycling. My wife is going uh, to meet me with the car and uh, the final stage I'm going with the car. But if somebody is... Uh, Going this trip, there is only like 20 kilometers to Salo, and you can take a train there. So, yeah, thank you. In the summertime, here is a lot of things, all the stores are open and uh, there's the guest harbor to the boat and summer market there and it's 
really summer village this place and yeah, you should visit this one also. Old houses from the factory times, they had a big oven when they made the iron and that's the side product of making that. They had that kind of style and they make the houses with that. kind of smaller road on the map there is actually good signs in where to go with the bicycle but this isn't that road I choose that this from the map and actually I don't have any map with me I used it only once in the Kiriyas when I was in one junction and I didn't I wasn't sure but what turn should I take? And but there is a map in the ships, hotels, and uh, almost every place. So usually I check the map in those places, and I haven't need any map here. There is not so many roads, and it's not not like a rocket giant to navigate in here. <laughs> I hope I'm not in. Sure where I where I am, but I think this is going to be in the, in the bigger road somewhere. Love the flowers in the road banks. They're usually the most beautiful flowers. And you cannot really see those when you're driving with the car, but here when you are with the bicycle, you can enjoy it all the time. And oh, it's so beautiful! All the nature here is more or less made by human the forest is economical forest and stuff like that and it's like farm side countryside uh, agriculture so yeah but you can actually uh, find uh, like a pure nature also here in the outer islands and the islands with uh, high rocks they are safe from the timber man.
think they're bees maybe. Bees baby. I don't know, but it looks like a bee. Sounds terrible, but you know what I mean. Well, the bicycle route turned to the right, but uh, I'm going to the left to the Kemi Kimito. Kemi is the Finnish name. So it should be this small road all the way to Kemi, you know, and there is the bigger road coming just before it. But this place looks nice. This looks so, so beautiful somewhere. It's like a museum. Really nice. I hope they fix it. That it doesn't fall down. Call it like Rupsi, you see it's Rupsi. It's actually not the bridge, it's a channel. So now we are actually back in the mainland. Just after the channel came a sign to the bicycle road to the left and I think there is a shortcut to the Matilde Dal. And it's a lot of shorter route but uh, it's a small road like that so that could be really interesting. Uh, in the Google map there is no road going there but in the terrain map like Retki Park Paikka app I can find the there is a trail going and uh, I did find from the internet some uh, information about the bicycle route and uh, I think it's going through that. I have also a link to the uh, Google, uh, Google map system where they have the different places there but the actually route is it's not there. But I can check it out then if it's going to work. So it could be much more interesting road to go. Yeah, there is this kind of sign. It's uh, that kind of road or trail you cannot go with the, maybe with the road bike. But this more mountain bike, I can go to mountains. So maybe I can drive this this trail also. Let's see what happens. This looks like a really interesting place. This is actually a quite good road. Good shape. This place looks really nice. So far I can recommend you to take this 
like this trail. It's beautiful. Uh, it's, it's like a economical forest, of course, but uh, still forest is every time beautiful. Uh, I can smell the forest and the moist in the air. Hear the birds singing. Ah, it's so beautiful. Okay, I know first thing you're uh, asking every time is about the stuff and the gear. Basically you need a bike, you need legs or uh, hands if you have bike with, you can make with hands, and the right attitude. You always have to adapt the things you get. If you have places uh, where is no camping places you have to live with that and if you have something else you always have to adapt to everything and be the positive mind and enjoy everything what is happening. Sometimes it's raining, sometimes it's sun is shining and you never know. So I have a, basically uh, this old school mountain bike. I have these uh, handles here. It's uh, easier to go up hills and sometimes I can rest a little bit more in there. Uh, I'm no expert, I have to say. Uh, this is actually my first time I have been like uh, in the bicycle trip where I am in, in several nights. And uh, I have just bought these uh, bags in the behind, in this front also. So this is uh, my first time. But this is my fourth day, so I maybe know something already. So, uh, as you know, it did rain yesterday. So I recommend you have a waterproof bags. This is Ortlieb bag. This is the city uh, model. There is also bigger ones like you saw with Patrick. And uh, this is uh, 25 liter is one bag. And then I have this bag here. It's Ortlieb also waterproof. This is 15 liters. And uh, I can put uh, here like a shirt or something. Here's the strings. And uh, all of this is so 65 liters. And I have still room in here. I can use, for example, this kind of uh, jungle gourd. I got this from free from the mökkimies.com, I think. I was testing it already and I made the review, so I'm not giving any commercial stuff here. Then you should have a water bottle here. I have this small one, it's only, I don't know, maybe 0 0.7 deci uh, liters or something. This usually it's enough for one day because I can fill it up for uh, in some place. But I have need to fill it up so far. Uh, I can drink it a little bit all the time when I'm uh, bicycling, so I'm not going to get too dry. Uh, I have uh, inside the bags. I have uh, underwear I can change. This time I had uh, uh, other pants also because if it's raining I can change the pants. And uh, I have a different pants there. I can uh, make those with the cheaper like uh, shorts also, and it's really lightweight pants. Then I have a one shirt and rain jacket. I don't have any food with me because this trip it's not camping. Uh, I have been in the hotels you have seen and eating mostly in the restaurants. And, uh, but I can put the uh, tent and food here if I need. So I think with this stuff I can make in summertime like one week trip if I want. And uh, I have some repair stuff there also. I have some basic tools that I can change the tire. And I have one inner tire uh, to the this bike. I have only one now, but and I think it <laughs> should be enough. I usually need uh, like a two or three of those in one year. So it's really bad luck if I have two punks on some same day. I actually had once. I did go really fast to one place and uh, both of the, the tires was 
punk shirt. Yeah, that's basically it. I have a here bell also. It's from Amsterdam. And I have GoPro, obviously. Helmet. And I have a mount for a GPS here, my Garmin. But I usually don't ever use it. I should buy bicycle pants. Uh, these hiking pants are not so good, I can tell you. And uh, I have the advanced, but with, with these uh, pants I can have the tool here and the phone and some stuff in the pockets. I can have the map here. And uh, I can use the Google map here, but it's not the best map. Because there, it's not a terrain map and it's not so accurate. For example, this trail is in there. So I can show you quickly. I have here. Oh, if you can see it here, so good. But I have here the Retki Paikka app. I have the one what is uh, you have to pay for it, but there is some free version also. I don't actually know the difference about those. But I can have the Google Map here or the Terrain Map. Now it it shows me how where I am. You can see it. It flashes the Google Map. And this is the real terrain map. So here I can see the path. I can see everything. The rocks, riddle streams, all roads. Here starts the national park, I think. I can see actually here the fireplaces and different routes. Trails. Here you can, I can see you, you see the fireplaces here. All the trails. So, I mean, I push this, it shows where I am. Really good one, and uh, it's going to improve uh, in the last uh, next years also, and the uh, next months, I hope. There is, uh, you can find some accom accommodations and stuff like that. Rent a boat, a cabin, canoe, everything like that from that, that, that app. And uh, I hope it's going to be a good app. I'm a crew of that red kipaikka, so this is a little bit advertising. in the edge of the national park of Tejo. There is Tejo. There is no Tejo. So the line goes in this part where this road is also very interesting. Those white lines in the trees are the marks of the national park. Okay, now I'm in Matilde Dal, and this is uh, some kind of cafeteria, but they sell here the products of the brewery. So I have here the APA. Yeah, this is really good. I think I drink this small APA and taste also the IPA.
nice to be an adult. I can do the things in the order at which I want, like eating dessert first and uh, food after that. Tiedätkö sä puuta siellä? Niin, tiedätkö sä puuta? Tuu tänne niin mä voin silittää ja rapsuttaa. Joo. Pikku niin. Niin, tuu tänne vaan. Oliko se hyvää? Niin, mä voin tätä lisää. Se lisää tämmöstä. Joo, ei. Olikö se hyvä? They have a lot of alpacas here. Alpaca raft. <laughs> 